Question is free Vegemite or Kim Little? So it's a bit of an interesting dilemma, but I don't really understand why I can't have both. I think I can play with Kim on the field as my teammate and then have all the Vegemite after the game. I don't see why I can't have both. Hi, Joe. Thank you for your question. Uh, Joe has asked or said, I know you love Fleetwood Mac and lots of good music. What are three songs by artists you've really loved in recent times, either old or new, that aren't maybe so obvious? Um, three songs is a bit difficult off the top of my head, but um, I've been absolutely loving Duke Ross at the moment. His music's so relaxing and he just has the coolest voice. So the one I've been listening to at the moment is called Atlanta. So give that a try. Uh, and then also, what else? Uh, probably Heartbeat by Ziggy Alberts. His voice just reminds me so much of home. And I don't think there's a song that he's made that I haven't liked. So give that one a try too. So the next question is from Amy. So thank you for sending that in. Um, she said, were you prepared for how chaotic the Arsenal squad are? Um, I would say definitely not. There's definitely some big chaotic personalities in the team. Um, so that's been really fun and there's really never a dull moment in this team, um, never. At training on game day there's always wild things happening and wild people doing crazy things so uh, that's been really fun to get to know everyone and get to know everyone's different personalities but I would also say that there's a lot of big hearts in the team and a lot of good people um, it's been a tough year for me and I felt so much support and so much love from everyone so uh, I'm very lucky to be in this team if you could change one thing about football what would it be 100% it would be throw-ins. As a fullback, I obviously take a lot of them and I just feel like I'm throwing it into someone who doesn't, or not doesn't want the ball, but isn't necessarily in the best position to get the ball. And yeah, I just feel like they're not much fun and I'm pretty sure I signed up to play football, not throw ball. But anyway, I've learned to love them over the years and it's something that I've actually practiced because I don't think I had the best throw to begin with. But here we are and I've learned to love them. Go throw-ins. I would say that as footballers, we've been so lucky that we've been able to continue pretty much as normal and go into training and get that social aspect and seeing each other every day and, and doing our jobs. So in that sense, I'm very, very grateful to be a footballer and have been given the opportunity to, to continue during such a tough time when people, you know, have lost jobs or unable to go into work or socialize. Um, but the most difficult part for me, I think has been the unknown about going home and not knowing when I'll see my family next. I think that's been definitely the toughest part. Um, you know, Australia's not exactly close. So, you know, even when things go back to normal, flying there's probably going to be pretty difficult. So that's been tough, but um, FaceTime has been really, really important in my life. So I'm very grateful for FaceTime as well. Next question is from Molly one. Would you try beans on wheat bix? I just I just don't know how those two things go together. I don't really know where the milk would go in that situation. And I don't really like milk and therefore I don't really eat wheat bix. So beans on top of that, I I mean I guess the answer is just no. I wouldn't try it. <laughs> Who would? <laughs> the next question is from Georgina. Uh, what's the thing you miss most about Australia? I would say that I miss everything. Um, I'm pretty biased. I love my home and I think it's the best place in the world. Um, so that makes me miss it a lot. I miss my family. I miss my dog. Um, I miss the coffee and right now I am 
craving the sun. It's summertime there and the Australian Open's on and that's just my favourite part of the year in Australia. So, yeah, it's definitely been hard watching the Australian Open and seeing them playing in the sunshine. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be warm here soon, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> Next question is from Sabi. Who was your favourite player growing up? Um, I think I had a fair few favourite players, but from memory, my first favourite player was David Beckham. He was just so skillful and fun to watch. Um, and then eventually, I loved watching Gareth Bale when he was playing at left back at Tottenham. And then I fell in love with Marcelo. He's just my favourite left back of all time, I would say. He's incredible to watch, so skillful, so smart, um, so many different types of passes in his locker. Yeah, I just think he's pretty incredible. So one of those three. Next question is from Ardi. Uh, who was the player you hated playing against the most during your time at the NWSL? Uh, I'm not sure I ever necessarily hated playing against someone um, but in terms of playing against a team I would say North Carolina away was always a really difficult game uh, they're obviously an incredible team but they're also full of pure athletes uh, so whenever you went there you knew it was going to be stinking hot and they were going to run themselves into the ground uh, they're physical they're a smart team um, and have some really, really pacey players. So, uh, you know, you could play really well for 70 minutes and then they'll bring someone off the bench who's uh, really quick and usually a really good player. So, um, yeah, they're a great team and it was always difficult to go and play against them. Okay, next question is from Evan. What does playing for the Arsenal mean to you? Uh, I obviously haven't been able to play too much which has been really really difficult and obviously really disappointing uh, but really it means the world to me uh, I've always dreamed about playing in England ever since I was a little girl uh, so to come here and, and play for one of the biggest clubs has honestly been a, a dream come true and I can't wait until I'm, I'm fit and healthy and able to contribute to the team and um, play alongside my teammates wearing the Arsenal shirt that is a wrap on my Q&A, so thank you so much for sending through your questions. I had a lot of fun answering them. And thank you so much for your ongoing support during my time on the sidelines. It definitely doesn't go unnoticed and really helps me get through the tough days. Um, speaking of my rehab, there's going to be some content coming out very shortly, a uh, little behind the scenes viewing of what I'm doing on my day-to-day -day recovery. So stay tuned for that. 